Welcome to the Daily Radio Bible for Kids. The day is December the 10th. My name is Hunter, and we are reading through the Bible. That's something we do every day. We take time in God's Word. We let His Word take its time on us. Kids from all around the world gather here to listen to these amazing stories from the Bible, from Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. And today we are in the book of 2 Timothy. Paul wanted to be sure that Timothy knew what to teach people in his church. Where did he tell him to look for the truth? Let's read about it from 2 Timothy chapter 3. You, Timothy, certainly know what I teach and how I live and what my purpose in life is. You know my faith, my patience, my love, and my endurance. You know how much persecution and suffering I have endured. You know all about how I was persecuted in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra. But the Lord rescued me from all of it, yes, and everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. But evil people and impostors will flourish. They will deceive others and will themselves be deceived. But you must remain faithful to the things you have been taught. You know they are true, for you know you can trust those who taught you. You have been taught the Holy Scriptures from childhood, And they have given you the wisdom to receive the salvation that comes from trusting in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. I solemnly urge you in the presence of God and Christ Jesus, who will someday judge the living and the dead, When he appears to set up his kingdom, preach the word of God. Be prepared, whether the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage your people with good teaching. For a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after myths. But you should keep a clear mind in every situation. Don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Work at telling others the good news and fully carry out the ministry God has given you. Wonderful. The Bible is like a giant sign on the road. It points us to something. It points us to the point of our destination. And the point and the destination is Jesus himself. Jesus is the living word, and the living word is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword. He pierces the very heart of every individual. Paul is telling Timothy to look to the word, because the word will point us to the one who is the word of God, that is Jesus himself. And Jesus will lead us in every way. And that, my friend, is good news. Well, hey, we've done it. We've done it again. We've spent another day in the Bible, and I plan on being back here again tomorrow to do the same thing, Lord willing. Lord willing in the creek don't rise. I plan on being here. Until that time, let's go forward. Let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength, and let us always remember this that you are loved. No doubt about it. Alrighty, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. You guys take care.